Hey guys, it's David with Cars and Code. In this video, we're going to talk how to get a image to fill the entire width of the page in Xamarin Forms um, and then put stuff below it. Because um, in Xamarin Forms right now, there's really no way to tell it to just fill the width and have an auto height. So, so that's what we're going to do here. So first, let's uh, create a Xamarin Forms project. This is just a, a standard Xamarin Forms project that I've created. Uh, and we're going to add an image to it. Okay, so now we've added a Corvette JPEG and a Corvette JPEG uh, to the Android and iOS projects. Um, so now we're just going to set the source in our image and then we'll have an application that has an image in it. And we can go ahead and run this and see what it looks like. Okay, so we get a nice image that fills the screen kind of like we, we want to do, except uh, it's not aligned to the top. So let's try and align it at the top um, and see the problems that we run into. Okay, so now we've got a image with a height of auto and a button with a height of auto and then a star to fill in the rest of the space of our screen. So let's see what this looks like. So as we can see here, the image isn't large enough to take up the entire screen. So when it measures the height of the image, it doesn't give it enough room to expand all the way to the side. Well, you might say, hey, let's, let's try setting the aspect ratio to fill or try some other things to do that. And as uh, I'll go here and add a few of those, but you can see that it's not doing exactly what we want. So we can even set horizontal options to fill, aspect to aspect fill. And it kind of looks like it works, but if you notice top of the image is cut off on the top and bottom because it tried to fill it to fill the entire view. So let's, let's go ahead and fix this. What we're going to do is we're going to create a class called an aspect ratio container. So we're going to take the aspect ratio of the image and we're going to set the height and width of this aspect ratio container to be the aspect ratio of the image. Um, and the aspect ratio container is just going to be a content view. So let's create that. Now, aspect ratio container is going to have a property on it called aspect ratio that we're going to be able to set for the image. Okay, so now we have this bindable property on our class that has an aspect ratio. Uh, it's going to be a type of a double, and we're going to give it a default value of one. Now what we're going to do is in our method called onMeasure, we're just going to set the width to be that aspect ratio uh, based on the height. So we can see here we have our onMeasure on method and we're going to return the width as the width constraint and the height as the width constraint times the aspect ratio. So the next thing we have to do is actually put this container in our XAML view. Now to set our aspect ratio, let's just take a look at our image and see what the aspect ratio is. So we can see it is 281 by 500. So we can open up a tab of Chrome here and do 281 divided by 500 and we get 0 0.562. So we can set 0 0.562 as our aspect ratio. Okay, now we can run it and it should fill exactly like we want. So there we go, we have our image scaled and fitting exactly with the content we want below it. So that's gonna be the end of this video. I hope it, this helped you guys. Uh, if, if you're having trouble getting a image um, that is coming from the internet that you don't know the aspect ratio of yet, or if you're using multiple photos for different resolutions and screen densities. In the next video, I'm gonna talk about how we can modify this to um, compensate for an unknown aspect ratio image. So thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoy this and have a great day.